colors you use play a role in creating your whole art style. It can be the difference between creating memorable art and something that's kind of boring. Generic can be another word for it. Welcome back. I'm Christine and I'm going to help you choose a color palette that works for your art style and for the subject that you want to paint. Because it's time to make your art stand out. Palette number one is the complementary color palette. It consists of two colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, plus white. You can also add black if you like. I'm not going to tell you not to use black in this video. Justice for black. This palette can be applied in three different ways, but before I get into that, here are three options that you can choose for your complementary color scheme. Cobalt blue, cadmium red light, dioxazine purple, cadmium yellow light, cradacnone red, and viridian green. Yes, I practiced all of those names before I started filming. I can't pronounce anything. They're weird names, but those are the names that the paint companies assigned to specific hues of paint based on the pigment used to create it. All you need to know is that these are the standard names that you can find across most of the popular paint brands. If you want to pick out your own complementary color scheme, you can purchase this advanced color wheel on Amazon. It's pricey, but it's worth it. Oh, and a side note, you can mix different brands of paint because sometimes a color will look different depending on the brand that you choose. Ultimately, the decision is up to you. The complementary color palette is the cheapest color palette that you can start with because it only requires you to buy three tubes of paint. It can also have the most dramatic effect. To prove my point, here's a painting of a line that I did three different ways. In this first painting, the main color you see is cadmium red light because the cobalt blue, which is its complementary color, is used to neutralize the orange and create the darker tones. The second painting is the reverse. I used cadmium red light to neutralize the cobalt blue to create a painting with cool tones. The third painting is the most dramatic. It's also my favorite because instead of using one color to neutralize the other, both colors are visible in the final painting. The key to this technique involves applying the warmer hue to the brighter areas and the cooler hue to the shadow regions. This creates a balanced appearance. I enhanced this effect with a black piece of cold pressed watercolor paper. If you don't have black paper, you can purchase Mars Black to create a similar effect and increase the dramatics of this basic palette. Working with a limited color palette like this pushes you to get creative with what you've got. And sometimes that's when the best things happen. Vincent van Gogh was famous for using complementary colors in his paintings. So who knows, you might be the next van Gogh. Palette number two is the traditional portrait palette. If you'd like to start painting people, these are the traditional colors that you should start with. Cadmium red, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and titanium white. Portrait painting isn't popular with beginners because the human face is a complex object and it can be a little scary to paint. But if you're feeling courageous, this palette has everything you need to start mixing skin tones. And here's a quick crash course for those of you who may not understand how to mix skin tones yet. Equal parts of yellow ochre and titanium white will create a basic peach tone, which you can adjust by adding more red to create warmer skin tones or more yellow to create cooler skin tones. To create darker skin tones, mix in a small amount of ultramarine blue or burnt sienna. For each of these portraits, I ended up adding a little bit of Mars Black just to make the features pop out a little bit and give it a little more dimension. Now palette three is what I refer to as the student palette and it consists of the following colors. Cadmium yellow medium, cadmium yellow light, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, cadmium red medium, crimson, burnt sienna, and titanium white. Now I call this the student palette because this is the palette that they teach you to use in art school because they want to teach you how to mix all of the secondary colors on your own. Some other colors that you learn to mix with this palette are grays and browns. So this is the second cheapest palette that you can buy because it requires you to mix most of the colors on your own. 
If you are invested in acrylic painting and you want to get better and hone in on your mixing skills, this palette would be great for you. If you've been using this palette for a while and you get tired of mixing your secondary colors, you can upgrade this palette by purchasing these three colors. Viridian Green, Ultramarine Violet, and Cadmium Orange. All right, it's time for the tea on the student color palette. But before I get into it, I just want to ask you to go ahead and give this video a like if you found it helpful so far. I almost quit when I started acrylic painting because I didn't have the colors that I needed to express myself or create the things that I wanted to make. Which brings me back to the biggest problem about the student palette. It's easily outgrown by most. Yeah, that's it. You outgrow it like that. And that's not for everyone. Some people love the student palette. Some people love painting things that are in nature and they like the dull colors that they find in nature and they love recreating it in their art. Most artists will paint with the student palette for a month or so, but then they get tired of it. The traditional colors don't suit their personal taste and style. And that's just the thing, like basic colors are basic and basic is boring, which is why I saved the best acrylic painting palette for last. Palette number four is the Vivid Paint Palette. I also refer to this as the Lisa Frank palette. If you're a 90s kid, you might understand what I'm talking about, or I like to call it Rainbow Vomit. <laughs> I'm a little biased when it comes to this paint palette because as you can see from behind me, I'm all about the rainbows and the bright colors. This palette is when you use the brightest colors straight out of the tube, but you use them in a way that it's pleasing to the eye. And that can be challenging, which is why this palette is the most difficult palette for beginners to learn. It's also the most expensive because you're buying a lot of colors. It's important to note that none of these colors can be mixed using the student palette that we just talked about. All of these colors are created in the factory using a very specific pigment. The Vivid Color Palette colors are Lemon Yellow, Vermilion, Crimson, Magenta Light, Emerald Green, Light Green Permanent, Cobalt Blue, Light Blue Permanent, Dioxazine Purple, Brilliant Purple, Titanium White, and Mars Black. If you're feeling courageous and want to get started with this palette, the key to creating beautiful paintings with the Vivid Color Palette is to use your brightest colors as your highlights and your darkest colors as your shadows. That means purples and blues and greens will be your shadow colors. Yellow, orange, and red will be your highlights. This is one palette that I think it's acceptable to use a lot of Mars Black. Since these colors are manufactured, I feel that a Mars Black just makes the colors pop more. Don't worry, I plan to go into more depth on these palettes in future videos to come. If this is the first video that you're seeing from me and you're a beginner and you don't want to buy all of these colors, go ahead and watch this video next. I will get you started with acrylic painting for under $30 or less. And I'll see you there.